This is the state of Colorado. Admitted into the Union 100 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1876, and thus dubbed the Centennial State, it's the site of the annual battle between Colorado and Colorado State in what's known as the Rocky Mountain Showdown. These schools have been playing this game off and on for over 120 years, squaring off for the Centennial Cup. It goes to the winner of one of college football's oldest rivalries, and it's a good place to start this season of Stadium Rivals. The in-state rivalry game between these two schools began in 1893, the first game between Colorado and what was then Colorado A&M. Colorado, the more established program at the time, came out of that game with a 70-6 drubbing. In a game historians claim, Colorado officials stopped counting the score. Yikes. The blowout was later summarized in a February 1893 edition of Colorado A&M's Rocky Mountain Collegian saying, We will say, as Peter the Great said of the Swedes, they will have the advantage of us for a time, but in the end, they will teach us to conquer them. About that. Those studies took quite a while as Colorado went 13-0-1 over the next 14 meetings between the schools. But the battle in 1912 marked a transition in the rivalry as Colorado A&M earned its first victory, a 21-0 shutout in Fort Collins. The rivalry was in full throat from then until 1938 as the schools fought for supremacy atop the Rocky Mountain Conference. Colorado A&M was able to take home nine of the 28 games between the two schools during that period. But then, it was all Colorado. From 1939 to 1956, the Buffaloes would go 14-3 against their in-state counterparts. Then, in 1957, Colorado A&M became the Colorado State we know today. And in 1958, Colorado head coach Dallas Ward announced there would be no more games against Colorado State. He claimed the competitive gap between the two schools had grown too wide as Colorado went 19-3 against their rivals over the past 22 games. And in what was scheduled to be the last game between the two schools, it was Colorado State who came away with the 15-14 win. Colorado was a sad, dead place when it came to football rivalries between the in-state schools. No games will be played between the schools until, and this always works great with sports, the government got involved in 1983. At the prodding of the state government, who were set to schedule games between the two schools if the schools didn't agree to new terms, the Colorado and Colorado State rivalry was restarted after a 25-year absence, with the Buffaloes coming away with a 31-3 win. In 1986, CSU took home its first victory over CU since 1958 with a 23-7 win. But then, Colorado would go back to dominating the rivalry. With eight straight wins for the Buffaloes from 1987 to 1998, including in their national title run in 1990, the game was moved to Denver and then Mile High Stadium because of a demand for a bigger venue and a larger revenue split between the schools. From there, Colorado State came off an eight-game losing streak in the series with wins in 1999 and 2000. And in 2002, CSU QB Bradley Van Pelt will become a hated name for Buffalo's fans with his notorious helmet spike in the Rams' 19-14 win. Did you see that? and there were no flags? Savage. In 2005, Mason Crosby hit a 47-yard field goal with four seconds left to give Colorado a 31-28 victory, another blow to Rams fans. And that's how it's been for most of the decade. With their OT victory in 2015, Colorado is back on a streak against their rivals and currently hold the Centennial Cup and a 65-22-2 overall record ahead of the team's opening week showdown in 2018. But what's the future of the Rocky Mountain Showdown? The current deal has the two schools doing battle until 2020, the last of which will be played at Colorado State's Canvas Stadium. Having filled their non-conference schedules for 2021 and 2022, the schools recently agreed to continue the rivalry with a home-and-home -home series in 2023 and 2024. Beyond that, the passion that fans of both schools have for their program is undeniable, and the state of Colorado has a huge appetite for this rivalry. Will that be enough for Colorado State to start to chip away at the 73% winning percentage for Colorado and to place the Rams' name even more prominently on the Centennial Cup? Either way, the Rocky Mountain Showdown has cemented itself as one of college football's top rivalries as we continue to break them all down on Stadium Rivals.